All right, this is uh, grade 5, module 2, lesson 5. And in this problem, we are going to be learning the standard algorithm for multiplying, but we're going to begin with a visual model uh, and using partial products so that ultimately all students will be using that classic standard algorithm of, you know, like 17 times 15, and you do it all that traditional way. Uh, but we're going to begin with that visual model so that students really have something to hold on to, and it makes math not like magic. It makes it make sense, and that's really what we want. All right, so in this problem, we're being asked to draw the area model and then uh, relate that to the standard algorithm. And so when we see 24 times 21, in this case, I'm going to think of a rectangle, uh, because except I want it to be a black rectangle. All right, and we're going to think of it as a rectangle, and we don't have to draw it in ratio and proportion. It doesn't have to be all perfect. And we're going to think of that, ratio, that rectangle as being 24 wide, 24 units wide, 24 inches wide. And we're going to think of that rectangle being 21 inches or feet high, 21 units high. But I'm going to take that 21 and I'm going to break it up into two pieces. I'm going to break it up into the 20 and a 1. So really we've taken this big huge rectangle and we've cut it up into two smaller rectangles. So this first smaller rectangle right here, this is a 1 by 24 rectangle which is equal to 24. And then this bigger rectangle is a 20 by 24 rectangle. And we multiply that. We could do that in our head because 2 times 24 gives us 48. And then we just add on an extra 0 because of that 0 right there uh, because it's really 20. So 2 tens times 24. And now if we were going to relate this to the traditional standard algorithm, uh, traditionally, we would multiply by that 1 first, and the, that would make this 24, oops, that would make this 24 go right here. Uh, so the 24 would go right here, the 480 would go right here, and then we would add these together, and we would get 504. All right, in this problem, uh, Zenon earns $142 per shift at his new job. During a pay period, he works 12 shifts. So we've got $142 per shift. He works 12 shifts, and what is his pay? So this is definitely a multiplication problem where we're going to do 142 times 12. And once again, we're going to start with that visual model, but then relate it to the standard algorithm. And in this, um, the standard algorithm is going to look like 142 times 12. But in our visual model, we're going to think of it as a rectangle. And we're going to think of that rectangle as being 142 units wide. And the rectangle is 12 units tall. But we're going to break up that 12 units into a 10 and a 2. Just, you know, essentially we're decomposing. And now we're going to find the area of each of these two smaller rectangles. So this 2 by 142 rectangle, that's what that is, that's going to give us an area of 284. And then this big rectangle down here, 10 by 142, and that's going to give us an area of uh, 1,420. And that's really easy because when you're multiplying by 10, you just, you know, keep the numbers and add a zero. Now how do we relate this to the standard algorithm? Well when we multiply by the 2 we would get 284 because 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times two, uh, 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2. All right, And then this comes right here 1420 would go right here and we would add these. Now where did we get that from? Well when we multiplied by the 1, it's not really a 1 we're really multiplying by 10. So we're multiplying 10 times 142. Well, that's what we did over here. So 10 times 142 is 1,420. Now we're free to add. And we get 1,704. So that's really $1,704 that Xenon earns. 
and that is using the visual model to begin understanding our standard algorithm and we're going to be practicing that for the next couple of lessons and ev eventually all students will be doing that standard algorithm second nature but we're going to do it by uh, first having all the students understand that visual model.